battle brewing over your safety. Today, some city leaders voted to eliminate a dozen police positions for the next year. Now, according to online crime stats, there have been 70 homicides to date this year, more than 7,000 assaults, and 5,600 car thefts. And the mayor says he needs more officers on the streets in this city, but as 12 News' Christina Palladino reports, there's disagreement on how to protect the city. Well, we know that there's a lot of emotions running high right now on police issues in general. Um, but I, I have to make sure that we have an adequate number of police officers on the street. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett is not happy that members of the Finance and Personnel Committee decided to slash 12 police officer positions for the upcoming year. The mayor's proposal includes hiring 85 new officers to hit the streets next year. But some members of the Common Council are recommending hiring 12 fewer officers, which would leave a net gain of 73 to be available to be hired in 2015. The mayor says that number here is unacceptable. We're going to do everything possible to restore those 12 police officers because I do want to have the bicycle cops. I do want to have the beat cops in neighborhoods like Brady Street and UWM and Jackson Park and Sherman Park, um, particularly during the summer months. Alderman Nick Kovac is one of the council members on the committee who voted to reduce the number of officers. He wants the $700,000 that would pay for the officers' salaries to instead go towards a special fund which would train trauma specialists, hoping to create a more holistic approach to fighting crime. They'll either work for the county or they'll work out of the health department at the Office of Violence Prevention. They'll be embedded in police stations, making sure that that kind of intervention in the cycle of violence is part of police work. In Milwaukee, Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News.